All right, we're gonna start our spelling chore words with Mr. Leolis. We're gonna be starting or continuing our spelling words for chores. Get your letters of the alphabet out. A to the letter Z, all uppercase letters preferably. Get doubles of those letters or those words or letters that have many letters in them, like vowels. <clears throat> our first word is the word clean. So let's spell clean because our houses get dirty and we need to clean them. And that's part of our work weekly chores, clean. Find me your letter C. Letter C. Find me the letter L. Next, find me the letter E. Good, find me the letter A. And find me the letter N. Clean. All right, like we said before, our house gets dirty and we must clean it. And doing our weekly chores is one way we make sure that we get time to clean our house. Let's put our letters back. <clears throat> And our next word is an example of a weekly chore, and that's vacuum. So vacuuming is one of a we uh, our weekly chores. Let's start with the letter V. And then find me the letter A. Find me the letter C. Find me the letter U. And there's two U's in the word vacuum. Get your, your next letter U. And lastly, the letter M. There you go, vacuum. So vacuuming is a weekly chore. And the reason why we vacuum on a weekly basis is because it takes a lot of time to vacuum the your house or your apartment. And we generally do our vacuuming or our weekly chores on the weekends because we have more time. Because we're not responsible for going to school or going to work. So we tend to save the vacuuming of the house or the apartment for the weekend, if it takes so much time to do that chore. All right, our next chore is the word dust or dusting, All right? So many people like to dust their house or their homes on a weekly basis. Let's start spelling it with the letter D. The letter U. The letter S. And the letter T. So dust gets into our house from outside, from pollen. And it also comes in from the doors or windows being open. But our skin, our hair, our clothes, if you have pets, their dander, all of this stuff creates dust in a house. And on a weekly basis, we dust our furniture to make sure we get rid of all that dust so our house looks clean. Our third word is the word mop, and that's a chore. We mop our floors. So mopping is definitely a weekly chore. And we'll start with the letter M. <clears throat> Next is the letter 
hold and the letter P is the short word mob so as I said earlier it takes a lot of work to do these kinds of chores. It takes a lot of time. So we don't mop our floors every day on a daily basis. We do it on a weekly basis. Because by the time we get the bucket out, the mop out, and fill it with soap, and then actually do the mopping of the whole house, it takes a long time. So that's why we save it for the weekends. All right, here's another weekly chore we do. And this is the word laundry laundry we do laundry on the weekends here in my house and we usually do it on a saturday and then whatever's left over on sunday so let's spell our first word and that's l first yes yeah, starts with letter l and then we go to letter a u N D R and lastly Y laundry so some people like to do laundry every day, but for the most part, most people will do their laundry on a weekly basis. So they wait for the weekend to do laundry because there's so much clothes to watch, wash. So we usually wait till the weekend where we have more time to do those chores. Some people do a little bit of laundry every day, so there's not so much on the weekend to do, but nevertheless, it's definitely a chore. Our next word is the word sink. So many homes have sinks. We have a kitchen sink, we have bathroom sinks, we have laundry sinks, and those sinks get dirty, so we have to make sure we clean those. And again, we generally clean those on a weekly basis. So the first letter is the letter S. And then find me the letter I. Now we need to find the letter N. And lastly is the letter K. Oops. And we just spelled the word sink. And again, our sinks get dirty because we're brushing our teeth in this sink. Some people like to shave in the sink. Our food in the kitchen is put is placed in the sink. Sometimes it falls in the sink when we're washing dishes. So it's important to clean the sink on a weekly basis to prevent germs from gathering. And another thing that we must clean is the toilet. The toilet's found in our washrooms. And it's important that we disinfect our, to our toilets and our clean them on a weekly basis. So we prevent germs from spreading. So toilet starts with letter T. And which will find me the letter O. Find the letter I. <clears throat> the letter L. the letter E and the letter T again. And we spelt the word toilet. So our toilets are found in our washroom and we use toilets every day. And that's why it's important at the end of the week that we clean our toilet. All right, so there's a few words that reinforces our weekly chores lessons this week. Try to do some of these chores with the help of a family member or you do them on your own. And 
thank you very much for joining me this week with spelling chore words with Mr. Leolas.